In this video, you're going to learn how to multiply three binomials together. We're going to go through two examples. Let's do the first one together and you can try the second one on your own. So a binomial represents like two terms. The terms are separated by plus or minus. So you can see we have two terms times two terms times two terms. So what you want to do is you want to pick two of those binomials to multiply together first. So for example, I'm going to take these first two binomials here on the left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the distributive property twice. So I'm going to take this x right here, I'm going to multiply it by x. x times x is x squared. Remember, when you multiply, you want to add the exponents together. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we're going to take x times negative 2. Make sure you capture the sign, whether it's negative or positive. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Then we're going to take this 3 and we're going to distribute it. So 3 times x is positive 3x. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms. The negative 2x and the positive 3x comes out to just 1x. Let's bring down the x squared and the negative 6. Okay, so now we multiply these first two, tri uh, two binomials together and we got a trinomial. Now we want to multiply it by this binomial here, x plus 5. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You could take x times all three of these and then 5 times all three of these. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to take x squared times these two terms, then x times these two terms, then negative 6 times those two terms. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take x and I'm going to distribute it to x squared. So x times x squared is x cubed. Remember, you're adding the exponents, 1 plus 2. Then x times x gives us x squared, because again, we're adding the exponents, 1 plus 1 is 2. And then x times negative 6 is negative 6x. Now we're going to take the 5 and distribute it to all three of these terms. So if I take 5 times x squared, I get 5x squared. 5 times x, I get 5x. And 5 times negative 6, I get negative 30. Now, you don't have to line them up the way that I did here. You can just put them in a row if you want. But the reason I did this is just to kind of line up the x squared terms, the x terms, etc. So it'll make it a little bit easier when we combine like terms. So we've got x cubed. 1x squared plus 5x squared is 6x squared. Negative 6x plus 5x is negative 1x. And then minus 30. And again, you want to write it in a descending order from the highest power down to the lowest. And that's your final result. So let's take a look at another example. See if you can pause the video and try number two here. And we'll go through it together. Now, if I was going to do it, I would do the same thing I did on this first example. I'd multiply these two binomials here on the left together first. You could do these two first, or the first and the third. It doesn't matter, but you're just going to take two binomials and multiply them together. So I'm going to use the distributive property twice. I'm going to take the 2x times x, which gives us 2x squared. Then 2x times positive 2 is 4x. Then negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Let's go ahead and combine like terms together. So we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And then that's all multiplied by this binomial here, 3x minus 4. And so how would you multiply that? Well, let's take the 3x and we're going to multiply it by all three of these terms. So 3x times 2x squared is going to give us 6x cubed. Again, you're multiplying the coefficients together and then the variables together. And then now 3x times 3x gives us 9x squared. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. And then now we're going to take this negative 4, again, make sure you capture the, uh, whether it's positive or negative, and we're going to take negative 4 times all three of these terms. A negative 4 times 2x squared is negative 8x squared. A negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Okay, so all we have to do now is just combine like terms. I'm just going to add straight down here 6x cubed plus x squared minus 18x plus 8 is our final result. And you got it. Again, you don't have to line them up like this. You could just put them in a long row and then combine like terms. And you got it. So great job if you're able to follow this video. I'll put a link to another video talking about how to multiply trinomials together uh, right over there. So I'll see you over in that video and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.